I'm proud to present a sneak preview of Music Player Remix 2.0, the next generation music listening experience on WebOS. The goal of Music Player Remix 2.0 was to simplify the way you access and manage your music. To accomplish this goal, I had to think outside of the box and come up with some really cool ideas and concepts that have never been implemented in a portable music app. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the newly designed home screen. You still have all the ways you can uh, normally browse your music, such as artists, genres, albums, etc., but they've been moved over to the side of the screen. The majority of the screen is now occupied by what I call faves. Faves are any items that you want to pin to your home screen to have one touch easy access to as soon as you load the app. And they could be songs, albums, genres, playlists, ex anything. So let's add some faves. And incidentally, when you're browsing music, you have an alphabet scroller to you, available to you at all times on the screen right here. So if I touch the, the plus icon next to an item, a menu will come up, and I can select Fave It. And now that artist has been saved to the home screen. Let me do that with an album as well. And maybe even a genre. So if there's a particular um, genre of music that you've been listening to a lot, you can do that as well. And when I tap on one of those, all the items in the faves list will, play, will get loaded into a playlist and play in the order it appears on the home screen. And I can reorder these any way I'd like, and they're going to play in that order. And speaking of reordering, you can also reorder these items as well. So if you're not really into bookmarks, and you don't use them a lot, you can put them at the bottom. Um, or if you're really into fly lists, you could put those at the top and customize the home screen any way you'd like. Um, and speaking of fly lists, those are special playlists that you can create on the fly on your device. Um, and just like your faves, you can load anything you want into a fly list. Um, you can load songs, albums, artists, um, genres, anything. Um, at the top of the screen, there are a series of icons available to you. If you tap on the first one, it'll illuminate, and that indicates that the screen will stay on anytime you're using the music app. So you don't have to keep on turning it on every, mi every minute or so when the screen normally turns off. Um, the, the second one is uh, uh, whether or not your orientation is going to be locked. So right now it's unlocked. So if I flip my screen, it'll, it'll change the orientation. But if I want to lock it into a particular orientation, whether it be portrait or landscape mode, I can go ahead and lock it and it won't flip. The third icon is a sleep timer. A little menu will appear when you tap on it and when I start it it's going to count down to zero and when it hits zero um, the music's going to stop and the app is going to close automatically. So this is nice for when you want to fall asleep to your music but not have to um, have your music be playing all night long. Let me go ahead and cancel that. Um, there's, a, there's a resume play um, button. Um, the app will automatically keep track of where you are um, in a particular song, and when you close the app uh, and you come back and you hit the resume play, it's going to resume where you left off. The fifth icon is the interactive help system. This is available to you on all the screens, and when you tap on it, a series of help balloons are going to appear everywhere that you can interact with on that particular screen and when you tap on one of the help balloons um, you'll get a little bit of inf information about what you can do at that part of the screen so for instance if you didn't know what this plus icon was there'd be a help balloon there and you'd find out that this plus icon lets you add a new fly list so but the interactive help system isn't uh, implemented yet so I can't sh demonstrate it to you now but if you want to uh, see an example of it you can view one of my other videos called GeoStrings Help and Support on my YouTube channel and you can view a demonstration of that um, in that video. Um, let's go ahead and load the now playing screen and I'll show you how that's been redesigned as well. So this is what it looks like. Let me pause it real quick. Um, it's been redesigned to, to offer the user a visually appealing, yet extremely powerful way to control their music. So, um, the music controls that are normally at the bottom of the screen have been, have been repositioned to be in the middle of the screen as, as large, uh, finger-friendly uh, tap areas. So anywhere you tap on the album art is going to play or pause your music. Anywhere you tap to the right of the album art is going to skip tracks. Anywhere you tap to the left is going to go back a track. If you hold down, 
It'll scrub through your music. And speaking of scrubbing, you have a scrubber bar available to you on the screen at all times, which is kind of nice. Um, you also have a series of icons at the top of the screen, which give you some more additional options. You can go back to the home screen by tapping on the home icon, or on any screen, you could tap or you could swipe right to left to do the same thing. You can also tap on the plus icon to bring up a menu and add the current song to either a fly list or, or to the home screen and fave it. You can view the lyrics of a particular song. You could save a bookmark in a particular song. So let's see, let's say at uh, 4 minutes 30 seconds, if I wanted to save a bookmark, I could do that. And I could view my bookmarks right here. I could also go to the playlist uh, view and view my my whole playlist. And from the playlist view, you'll notice that there's a, a progress bar on the current song. Let me go ahead and play that. If you tap anywhere, you can change, you could actually scrub through your music right from here without having to switch to the now playing screen, which is kind of nice. Um, also on the, on the now playing screen, there's song al artist and album information. Let me show you something cool about that. Let me find the song. Oh, this is a nice long song name. And you'll notice that it scrolls on the screen, which is kind of nice. And it'll, it'll do that for the artist and album as well. It'll also do that on the lyric screen as well, which is kind of nice. Um, let me see. Oh, no, I want to pause it. Okay. Um, let me go back to the playlist view. Um, you could also reorder your playlist, so if I wanted to play this song next, I could do that as well. Um, but one thing that you don't normally see in, in apps, so let's scroll, let's, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. If I wanted to um, play You're the Best after the current song, I'd have to drag that all the way to the top, and that's very cumbersome. So within Music Player Remix, I've made little shortcuts, like the one I'm about to show you, to help simplify your life. Um, which I told you is one of the goals um, of Music Player Remix was to simplify the way you access your music. So to do that, I just tap on this icon, and now you're the best. Oops, we'll play next in the playlist. So that's kind of a nice thing to do. Um, one thing that I think is lacking in many music apps is the ability to quickly and easily find what you're looking for, as well as managing your current playlist. Music Player Remix has, been, has implemented several features that address this deficiency. The first one is called Preview Mode. So while a song is playing, you might want to browse your music this way. But some people like to browse their music by viewing album art. And that's what Preview Mode lets you do. You can just swipe to enter Preview Mode. And now, while you're listening to the current song, you can just swipe back and forth and view your, your um, playlist. And when you find a song that you want to listen to, just go ahead and tap it. And now you're out of preview mode and you can start playing that song. Let's go back into preview mode. Another thing you can do in preview mode is queue up a song to play next. So if I wanted to play Ricky Martin after the current song, I could just swipe up and now that song has been queued. So now if I hit next, Ricky Martin's going to play. So this is just a few of the ways that um, I've added to um, help improve the way you manage your music. Um, one other thing in preview mode is if you tap on the artist or song information, and this also applies while you're not in preview mode, by the way, but let's say I'm, I'm swiping along and I find Genesis. I can just tap on this, and I'm going to list all of Genesis' songs or albums. And I can easily find something I want by doing that as well.